and today is my final day in Germany. Um, this is going to be my last full day here, so I'm going to make the best of it, hopefully. Uh, I am going to be spending the day here in Cologne because um, not really much time to do anything else. So we're going to do some last minute shopping and then also maybe do some last minute eating as well. Um, there's some things on my eat list I want to check out and make sure that I eat while I'm here because I don't know if I'm going to come back, honestly. Um, so yeah, anyway, that's what's going on. I'm obviously outside my hotel. So housekeeping came extremely early this morning. They came at like 8.50. They were like, do you want your room cleaned? I said, can you come back later? <laughs> I was like, I was up already, but it was still like, that's very early for a Sunday especially. Um, I don't know what the typical time is for hotel housekeeping to come for Germany but that seems early to me let me know if that's not early like I usually think like 10 10 30 is normal because then it's like people are usually up by then you know fully out of the hotel and stuff I don't know especially for weekend we saw this mural on the um, train yesterday so today my sister walked these past it so I could take a video slash photo of it walking past the pink church and the Hilton the Hilton's actually quite close to the train station opposite side of where I am, maybe like a minute or two closer. A banana walking tour, every time I see it, I'm gonna tell you, it's at this funk house. <laughs> He's holding it, it's that weird mouse thing. There's another banana, this is like the Museum of the Applied Arts, which is like a design museum that I wanted to go to. It's right by the um, cathedral. I am assuming this is another piece of the Roman wall. I don't know, it looks pretty old. I'm gonna say that. I'm entirely sure what this is for. My sister conjectures that it might be for carnival. Also, there's an ambulance coming. And according to my Pokemon Go game, this is a croissant. <laughs> Correction, it's made by somebody named Michael Croissant. It's not a croissant, sadly. To make it even crazier that they came in for housekeeping at 8.50, there's like legitimately nobody out. <laughs> We're slowly making our way to brunch, but that looks like the honey bunches of Oatsby and he has a toupee on. But also that's the weird looking mouse thing that I thought was a peanut. Since there's nobody here, that postcard store is super cute. That's not where I bought my postcards, but they have a lot of cute ones too. There's also, oh, you can eat sushi. <laughs> okay, so this PNT place is super cute. It's paper and tea and it has like cute little decorative tea boxes too back on that shopping street with like the cinnamon bun place. It's super empty right now. Like really empty. There's two other people with us. They're prepping the cinnamon rolls. They also had another shop in Vaughn yesterday too. We didn't go obviously. I was in a huge head. Now we're back at the end of the street-ish area. And this is where those vintage shops were that I didn't buy anything at because I thought they were highly overpriced in my opinion. Especially because I can go vintage thrift shopping and get everything for $4 in New York, which is also kind of expensive. I like these dishes. Especially these mugs, they look really nice. That cafe is cute, the little Nona. Not very many people out there right now. We're going to that brunch cafe, it's very busy. Bit and tacos, and that is the tropical pancakes. And then the coffee and the passion fruit smash, squash, squash. We're near the toilet back downstairs. So the brunch place got really, really, really full with like a very long queue at about 10. Um, and there was probably like 20 people in line, I would say, at one point. Um, but it kind of empties out in circles, so or cycles rather. So it wasn't too bad of a wait even for people that were there when it was really busy. Uh, the restaurant is huge in the back. It's a little bit of a chain. So there's also locations in Dusseldorf and Frankfurt. Um, so yeah, anyway, it was pretty good brunch. Reasonably priced, I would say. A lot of people got a lot of food and then they shared it on their table and a lot of drinks too. Um, not so many alcoholic beverages. It was mainly like juices and such. Um, one other thing to note is that on Sundays, a lot of stuff is closed. Um, some stuff might open a little bit later. So it's about 11.15 right now. Um, but yeah, we're walking past a lot of stores and they're not open at all on Sundays. These have been going since 11.15, it's now 11.22. Just in case you ever wanted a gnome side table, they got you. We're at this other store that's right next door to the cartel store. So I like that hat. Um, what's it called? Lamp. 303 though. 51. Starbucks also has a cologne mug. Can't show you the whole thing because it's very high. 1890. 
realized until just now there's a Nespresso store, but European Nespresso is better than the American one and I should have planned better. Like nothing's open, but there's actually oddly a lot of people walking around for nothing open. But that kid's backpack is like, look at that back problems. And also that's a huge party cone. Well in time, cause nothing's open, but they're sold out of the basics, but they have these crazy ones. You got a unicorn. Oh no, the emoji sold out. Dang it. Oh, and the hippo sold out. They have merchandise. You can get a Christmas ball. Cups. Flasks. Mugs. Socks and caps. Gym bags. Oh my god, lanyards. Obviously from the last clip you could have heard how windy it is, but look, the fountain is like, it's like a typhoon in there. These are cute. $7.95 for a little cookie cutter. Monastic gin made in silence. So this Roman tower thingy is an event venue. <laughs> There's a boat. There's a fresh licorice store right next to the gate, but it's closed on Sundays too. The corn cup trolley is coming. Not a lot of people in it. We're here at like 2.15 on Sunday. It's very full compared to on a weekday at 9 a.m. Super duper full. From the inside, that's the one that they're fixing on the outside. On Sunday afternoons, behind the altar is open, so we're gonna go back there now. Mama! We're behind the altar now. According to my sister that holds the skull caps of the three magi, who are the dedicated things for this church. <laughs> I think this is my favorite window pane in the entire cathedral. According to my sister, this window was donated by the Saturn group, and there's apparently planets there. The Saturn is there. Another banana. Walking along the river, there's supposed to be a beer festival today, so we're just gonna walk through and do a drive-by. Um, but it's somewhat busy, but not like super duper busy like the day I arrived. But pretty nice day. Okay, so this is one of the stops my sister wanted to make at the um, artist place. They have some like, okay, creepy clown up, but they also have some cologne specific um, art as well. So the clown is because of the carnival thing, but I just still find it a little bit scary and disconcerting because yeah, clowns I'm not a huge, huge fan of, but this one in particular. We're at the My Curry first for a little bit of a snack here. The best value is getting the fries and the curry works together, so we'll do that. The curry worst and fries with mayo, it does cost extra to mayo, cash only. So this crane has been moving since we've been sitting here and I'm hoping it's like moving because some guy is operating it, not because of the wind. Because <laughs> it's also been very windy and I got attacked by an Oreo wrapper from the floor that came from like a mile away. So yeah. So my sister informed me that this is actually a fountain about a fairy tale. Um, so ignore whatever I said a few days ago. But that's info in German. So super helpful. Next to the fountain my sister's getting an ice cream. Nobody likes your own raisin but me, but I'm not eating the ice cream because my stomach does not want to die today. There's also some other flavors. She got two scoops, lemon and chocolate. At the other perfume store, 
They have some little trinkets and stuff. They are open on Sunday, in case you're wondering. But the little advertisements are so funny. It's like quite cute and well designed. It's the 4711 brand. Then our goal is to somehow take a photo that looks like that advertisement. My sister says we've been a block away from it multiple times and I just haven't seen that building. We're still at that gift store. My sister's eating her ice cream, so we're just looking at what's outside so we can go in later. But some of these postcards are quite like cute. They're like very uh, minimalist and like quite um, modern looking. So I really like this one and then this one because this one's kind of funny. And I guess now that I ate those pickles on my taco, I can say I ate pickles in Germany, even though I didn't want to because I don't care for pickles. But <laughs> it just happened because I got flustered. Oh, this one's cute too. Oh, and the top one's cute too. I like the top one. Okay, these ones are nice too. The Happy Memories brand, 150. I really like this one. And then this one's kind of cool too. It depends on what part of the scenery you want. The beer. They hid the information about the brand behind the postcards, but here it is in English. So there's also like various different tourist sort of souvenir stuffs. Having a set that's two for a hundred. They're like the already um, prepackaged options. So sadly the two I like are not together right now. So there's also the two sets here. So there's the one that um, had like the themes and then the original sort of floral ones and then the original original. 48 for those sets. 24 for just the fruity ones and then 22 for the themed city ones. Okay, so this is the original one, 25, but you can get a smaller one for 18.50 and the large one for 49. So here we are at the number 4711 storefront that was on that um, advertisement. It's pretty grand looking. It is not open. So if you want to buy this on a Sunday, you have to go by the cathedral. There's that gift shop there um, that has the same brand, but this is the original. Here are the hours, no ice cream and no sodas apparently. I do appreciate their window displays. You get a free bucket hat if you buy one of the 4711 Remix. Oh boy. So it has a really cool tapestry in here, but you're not gonna be able to see it through the window because you can only see the little trailers behind me, but it's a quite nice store. It's huge actually. So this little guy's so proud of himself. Look at that. That's probably like $8,000 worth of cologne right there. This looks like it's like an original part of the facade here. Because I'm guessing because it's like protected by glass that it's original. Also, this is like a liter of cologne. For info about the glockenspiel. Okay, so I'm hoping I'm not setting off any store alarms, but here's a picture of the tapestry closer up. So it's them inscribing the house number on the building. Also, the design of the building is quite cool, like the decor with all of the perfume bottles hanging from the chandelier. The lock and mouse that I still looks like a peanut potato to me. The corn cob, the potato, and then the cathedral. bike still has no seat. Okay, final beer here, and this is, I don't know what type it is. Oh, it's a red ale. Seat's in the basket. I mean, it's not on there. Get, look at the little squirrel with a balloon who definitely got peed on. On our way to one last dinner. It's kind of cool. The corn cob one last time. Go in here. I think my beer is coming in that mug from that keg right there. So I got the beer of the restaurant. It comes in the little mug. 
This is the coldest beer I've had the entire trip. So beer pretzel balls. And I can't pronounce it. Spencil. I say spencil, but yeah, it's cute. Another banana at the Puppet Museum. Honestly, a little bit scary to me, but five euros. So in today's coolest segments of Roman architecture, here's a sewer. <laughs> We're trying to look for a Kolschmann because I'm not going to see one because we didn't go to a Kolsch place, but here's a fake one in this weird store. <laughs> you can buy the costume to be a Kolschmann. Okay, so we're trying to do golden hour, so we have ourselves camped out here in front of the cathedral, but there's a huge cloud that needs to clear up in like about 25 minutes. Still waiting for golden hour, but noticed now that a few of the window panes are missing in that window. There's actually a lot missing. Sorry about the suitcase sound. It's cobblestone and a lot of people roll. Yeah, there's a lot of missing panes. Oh, my sister and I were discussing. She's never been up there, so there's like a little booth that the guy who rings the bell sits in, um, and then he doesn't like ring the string like in Quasimodo. I don't know if I kept in all of that clip, but that was five minute straights of bells ringing, and it's eight o'clock. So if you want to see that, maybe try to camp out because they do start ringing the bells one minute early. So 7.59 and then they do it a couple of times and then um, after a couple of times, then five minutes straight of ringing. So as an update, did not get golden hour because the cloud didn't move. It was like a rain cloud, it was gray. Made my sister sit longer than she wanted to because I didn't want to give up on her goal. Okay, heading back to the hotel now. All the grocery stores are closed on Sunday, so make sure you plan ahead. You need to buy things like water or something. You need to go to like something called a kiosk, which is kind of like a bodega in New York. Otherwise, there's also like the to-go sort of places like the Rewa to-go, but almost back to the hotel. Good morning, it's Monday and I am flying out today, hopefully. Um, it's about 5.15, so I am ready to go. I'm just wrestling with here, putting my suitcase together. Um, it's actually not that difficult. It's just really hot in this room. It's really hot and humid because I don't know why, but this air con doesn't work. Like it worked for the first couple of days, but ever since then, um, I have it on the coldest setting and it's been turning onto the heat mode and I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, anyway, I am all set to go to the train station and I'll take you along with me um, to Frankfurt and back to New York today. So talk to you soon. Heading to the airport. It was pretty quick checkout, but nobody had made any comment in my file that the um, locks were broken. So that's annoying. to the Frankfurt Airport Station. Yeah. D.E. So I myself and a lot of other people who I went the wrong way. Went the wrong way and gotta go over here for Delta. Gotta go upstairs to eat too. It was super easy to get through customs. Um, since I'm a US passport holder, I could just go through the automated machine. Um, I'm going to just check out um, the duty-free because I'm trying to see if they have Nespresso pods because it's a lot cheaper here and I need to refill. So that's the plan. Some perfumes, $19.90. They're kind of odd ones. I was going to say that this one looks new to me. It is. Sales section. A lot of stuff here. Germany loves its vapes. 
There's so many everywhere and this sold out. <laughs> Found the coffee section, but no pods, it looks like. They have the Danish candies, the licorice. Italian cheeses and meats. Okay, this is a pretty good price, so you don't have to carry it with these Toblerone bags. The chocolate section is quite large. If you're not me and you did not go crazy at the Haribo store, they have a bunch of the large bags here, including these that I haven't seen. The, oh, no, no, I saw the small ones. But the pick and party is sold out. They have Ritter Sport 24.90 for the towers. Eight different bars. They also have the smaller ones, 5.90, 9.80 for the choco cubes. And that's what my sister actually got. They weren't wafers, I just read it wrong. But they're like little bite sized ones, 9.90 for 34 pieces. Definitely, she got a better deal. And it's tropical fruits, Ritter Sport. And it's edition five piece. They're just cute. I didn't know they had peach and passion fruit flavor. But they're like little tiny Tic Tacs. Little plushies, characters. Okay, I'm gonna go to the lounge now. I saw this before. Mosh Mosh. Looks like um, Japanese food. Very shiny, sorry about that. Top breakfast, weenies, mushrooms, eggs. Looks British. The candy bar too. Got a weird sausage, beans, mushrooms. The peach pomegranate. Passion fruit flavor, coffee, and San Pellegrino. Trying some of the candies I didn't get to try, including those bananas and that one that was at the Haribo store yesterday. Okay, so I got upgraded, so that's good. Um, I'm gonna head to Duty Free just to have one more spritz of perfume and head to the gate. Um, security is like right before the gate, so after customs and after Duty Free, so it's a little bit odd timing wise. Sounds intriguing, but I'm not gonna carry that home with me. It's like 15 minutes. There's like a bust of duty free shop with some snacks and such here. Fresh food, smoothies, water, a huge bottle of matcha, sodas, beer, a lot of beer, and some actual liquor, wine, candies. Other little snacks. The Frankfurt Football Club items. There's like another cute not sure. Delta Love. Gridded Code Plus. Cumber Plus Travel Kit has toothpaste and toothbrush. that came in all at the same time, the global entry, it only took like a two minutes. Everybody's stuck at customs. Got it, and it came out pretty quickly. But yeah, everybody must have been stuck at customs. Like another plane came, the um, line for citizens was really long, the non-citizen line was really long, global entry was like 10 people, but it only takes like five seconds. Once you get in, you just need to take a photo, so you have to talk to the officer and the last name. When you get out, you have to crash your card and then swipe into the bay. I made it till 7.30. I think I'm gonna go to bed. I was trying to hit 10, 10 or 11, but yeah, I think I just gotta go to bed now. Um, I think I just also had a very active um, vacation and like very early mornings. So I think my sleep schedule is just already shot in general. So hopefully this past week was very interesting for you. It was very interesting for me to experience myself. Hopefully I got some good clips for you. I don't know. I was trying to take it all in myself while also trying to share it with you and also myself for my future self as I'm editing the videos like next year. Um, but yeah, thank you again for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow. It'll be Tuesday, so that'll be starting the week here in New York. So if you're interested in seeing what I get up to, because honestly, I'm kind of curious what I get up to. So stay tuned for that. Thank you again for watching. See you then. Bye.